I'm so glad you're organizing this meeting to observe the anniversary of those massive raids by government on News Click um, and the jailing arbitrarily of Prabir Purkayasta in raids on such a massive scale uh, by a government that has successfully brought this country to a rank of 159 in the World Press Freedom Index. And which, by the way, in 2020, responded to the World Press Freedom in uh, World Press Freedom Index by setting up a committee, the index monitoring cell, to expose the flawed methodology of the Press Freedom Index, uh, which it then killed the report of its own committee simply on receipt of a dissent note from one of the members, yours truly. And this regime continues to erode journalistic freedom at a frightening pace. So I'm very glad you're observing this meeting and astonishing as it may seem, while there has been very large scale repression and worse actions in the past in our history, I could not find in the case of a crackdown on a single publication in a, in a single operation, I could not find a precedent either during the emergency of 1975-77 or even during the British Raj where 46 journalists were raided by no one knows how many hundreds of policemen in such a show of, uh, you know, intended to intimidate and terrorize. The important thing though is that News Click did not grovel, did not crumble, did not surrender to the regime. So maybe we can start looking at October 3 as the anniversary of the beginning of a resistance to such arbitrary crackdowns on press freedom. And this is in this message, I'd like to express my solidarity with every one of those journalists and the hundreds of others, other journalists across the country resisting such an attack on press freedom, on journalistic freedom, on their own integrity. Thank you.